Here to learn about some paradoxes? Well, sit down and find out. Picture this. You got a shiny new time machine and decide to take a little jaunt back into the days of your grandpa's youth and accidentally end his existence. Congratulations, you have effectively precluded your own existence. But wait, if you were never born, how did you go back in time in the first place? Well, therein lies the paradox, meaning it's probably a good thing that time travel will likely forever be science fiction. Now, before you say, wait, don't you mean the hare and the tortoise? No, listen. Achilles, the speedy Greek hero, challenges a tortoise to a race. Being a good sport and perhaps a little overconfident, he gives the sluggish reptile a head start. But according to this paradox, Achilles will never catch up. Every time he reaches the tortoise's previous position, the crafty creature has already moved ahead, meaning Achilles has to take an infinite number of steps to catch up. An infinite game of just a little bit further. You know, it's not uncommon that we replace old things with new versions, but the ship of Theseus makes us question this notion. Imagine a ship that has all of its parts replaced over time. Now take all the replaced old parts and build another ship. Which one is the real ship of Theseus? If playing Legos ever had a philosophical angle, I think this would be it. We all liked playing in sandboxes as a kid, right? Well, suppose you've got a heap of sand. Remove one grain, and it's still a heap, right? Keep going, one grain at a time. At what point does it stop becoming a heap? Does a heap even exist? Well, thankfully, it seems the prospect of being labeled a nutcase is enough to stop people from actually trying this. Uh, before I get started on this one, trigger warning for you beard lovers out there. Imagine a town where the barber shaves everyone who doesn't shave themselves. Who shaves the barber? If he shaves himself, he violates the rule. But if he doesn't, he should be shaved by the barber. Which would be himself. Basically, a cosmic joke with no punchline. Opposites attract for this next one. Imagine needing something you can only get by not needing it. Like a pilot who can avoid a dangerous mission by being declared insane, but by asking to be declared insane, he's actually proving he's sane enough to do the mission because of the fact that the mission itself is insane, thereby proving he's sane enough to do the mission. Opposite day on steroids. This next one might make people who preach tolerance cry a bit. The tolerance paradox states that if a society practices tolerance even with those who are intolerant, those who are intolerant will ultimately dominate, destroying not only the tolerant people, but the idea of tolerance altogether. Thus, in order to continue existing, a society must be intolerant of those who are intolerant. I hate to admit it, but it really does put the idea of world peace into perspective when you think about it. How do you think it would change history if someone was literally given the knowledge that makes them famous? Imagine a time traveler handing a young Einstein a copy of the Theory of Relativity, which he then publishes as his own work. But according to history, Albert Einstein was the one who created it. So who actually came up with the theory in this case? Well, at least it seems better than ending your own existence by ending someone in your ancestral line. A prisoner is told he'll be hanged on a random weekday in the following week, but the execution will be a surprise. Taking that at face value, the prisoner reasons that it can't happen on Friday, as by then it wouldn't be a surprise. Using this logic, he then reasons it can't happen on Thursday either. Using this logic, he eventually concludes that the hanging won't happen, as it wouldn't be a surprise until the executioner comes in on Wednesday. Pretty morbid game of guess who, isn't it? A crocodile snatches the child and promises to return it to the parent if they can correctly guess what the croc will do. The parent says, you won't return my child. Now if the croc keeps a child, that makes the parent's statement true, so it should return the child. But if it does so, the statement then becomes false, so it should keep the child. This is an example of what we like to call an infinite regression, a logic puzzle from hell. The next one might give you alien enthusiasts a bit of hope. This paradox poses the question, if the universe is so vast and old, then why haven't we seen any signs of extraterrestrial intelligent life? This matters because mathematically speaking, there's a high probability of it existing, and yet the closest thing we have is fantastical sci-fi depictions. Maybe they've just decided they don't want to deal with us. Despite its name, this paradox has nothing to do with the television series. This paradox occurs when a trend appears in different groups of data, but disappears or reverses itself when the groups are combined. Who knew that statistics could be capable of magic tricks? If Pinocchio says, my nose will now grow, he's got a problem. 
If he's telling the truth, his nose shouldn't grow, but then he'd be lying. If he's lying, his nose should grow, but then he'd be telling the truth. Yep, another infinite regression based on the this statement is false paradox. You know how some people say it takes forever to get somewhere? Imagine walking towards a destination. To get there, you must first travel half the distance, then half the remaining distance, and so on. But if you keep cutting the actual distance between you and your destination in half, it creates an infinite number of steps, meaning it really will take forever to get there, and you'll never actually get there. Time to find another destination, pal. This next one states that there can't be an uninteresting number because the smallest uninteresting number would, by definition, be interesting. Following that logic, all numbers must be interesting, pretty much a numerical version of Lake Wabagon, where all the digits are above average. We've all heard of this one in a tongue-in-cheek fashion before. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? If one exists, the other can't, meaning they cancel each other out. Like a game of rock-paper-scissors with both sides picking rock every time. According to Einstein, the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. If your twin blasts off at a high-speed rocket, they'll age slower than you. So why is it that all of us who live fast-paced, stressful lives get gray hairs quicker? On average, your friends have more friends than you do. It's not because you're unpopular. It's just that people with many friends are more likely to be your friend. Kind of like a social version of the rich getting richer. This next one might make you wonder if it's the reason why a bunch of ravens are called a conspiracy. Say you're trying to prove that all ravens are black. Finding a black raven would support your claim. But this paradox suggests that finding a non-black, non-raven object, like a green apple, also supports the claim. Except, what on earth does a green apple have to do with ravens? This is either some guy's 5D chess move, or an expedition of birdwatching gone hilariously wrong. This next one actually happens on a daily basis. In any large lottery, it's reasonable to believe that any particular ticket won't win. However, it's not reasonable to believe that no ticket will win. Remember this next time you decide to skip playing the lottery for that week, only to find that your friend next door won a $100 million jackpot. Cat lovers beware for this one. In the weird world of quantum mechanics, a particle can be in multiple states at once until it is observed. Schrodinger proposed a thought experiment where a cat is sealed inside a box with a vial of poison and a radioactive counter. The supposition is that the cat can be considered to be both alive and dead until someone peeks inside. I don't know about you, but that's not a chance I'm willing to take with my cat. The next one could be considered a lesson in moderation. The paradox of enrichment states that sometimes, increasing resources available to an ecosystem, such as making an overabundance of rabbits for a bunch of foxes to eat, can lead to an instability in the population of foxes and eventually its extinction when the rabbits run out. Kinda puts things into perspective when you're staring at that all-you-can-eat buffet, doesn't it? I guarantee we've all dealt with this one at one point. They say the harder you try not to think about something, the more likely it is to pop into your head. Now do you see what I mean? That annoying song you couldn't get out of your head for the longest time? Let it go. Wait, no, I didn't say that. No! No! Uh, have you ever felt like you've had too many choices in life? We always complain when there's not enough choices, but then again, having too many options can lead to decision paralysis and less satisfaction with your choices. Kinda like that kid at the candy store who ends up eating all the sweets and getting a stomach ache because he couldn't choose just a few. This next one might put going green into perspective. Jevons' paradox of increasing the efficiency of resource use can actually lead to an increased consumption of the resource. To put it in more simple terms, it's like buying that energy-saving light bulb that's cheap, but you end up leaving the lights on all day because you're under the impression that it's more efficient. Well, the bulb might be efficient, but your choices? Not so much. You know, if the universe is infinite and eternal, why is the night sky dark? Shouldn't the light from the countless stars add up to a blazing sky? This is what the Olbers Paradox asks. Because the universe is supposed to be infinite and eternally static, there should be an infinite light from the infinite amount of stars in it, and yet we see darkness every night. Well, unless you live in certain parts of the Northern Hemisphere during certain times of the year. You know, they say the more you chase after happiness, the more elusive it becomes. That is the hedonistic paradox. 
I mean, have you ever noticed that whenever you're looking for something, you never find it until you're not looking for it? Yeah, that's my daily life. This one might make you misers out there do a double take. While saving money is good for individuals, if everyone does it during a recession, it can actually do worse for the economic downturn. It's the financial version of Prisoner's Dilemma, except everyone loses. It'll make you think about just how thrifty you should be during tough times. Okay, I'll be real with you, I generally don't like to think about this one. In international relations, the fear of mutual destruction actually leads to more peace between nuclear powers, while also making smaller conflicts more likely. Here we go again with the man sticking it to the little guys, huh? But I mean between that and the threat of nuclear annihilation? Do you know why I don't like to think about this one now? The next one actually stems from a tale of epic survival. Named after American prisoner of war in Vietnam, James Stockdale, this paradox ascertains that to survive a difficult situation, you need a balance of optimism and realism. Tip that balance one way or the other, and it can be detrimental. Almost like a psych eval of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you gotta find the mindset that's just right. And here you have it, everybody. A thought-provoking journey through some of the most fascinating and confounding paradox known to mankind. And probably aliens if the Fermi paradox has any indication. Want more weird stuff like this? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, keep pondering, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the wondrous world of paradoxes.